global drinks provider spends large sums of money to ensure their brand is the best quality and consistent flavour in the market it serves. They can control quality of concentrated product by producing this in a handful of its own facilities, which is then provided to factories around the world for dilution, carbonation and packaging. Each factory has a small lab to do simple analysis on the product to ensure it meets the company's quality specifications. If the batch passes analysis, the product is released to market. A number of samples are selected from retailers supplied by the factories and returned to facilities for analysis. Audits are also carried out at the smaller factory laboratories, which can be costly for a large company. If a non-conforming product was discovered in the retail samples, further expense on audits and training at the factories would be required, as some of the original lab tests at the factories may be proven incorrect. LGC prepares proficiency testing kits, combining standard solutions and the real product. The kits are sent to hundreds of factories and laboratories that test super drink for the producer. Each lab has approximately five weeks to receive and analyse the samples and enter their results in the LGC portal database. The database closes at midnight local time on the deadline date, which is normally a Friday. On the following Monday, LGC commences processing the data, checks the draft and provides a draft report for the company in two to three days. Any questions can be answered and the report approved. Five working days after the close of the round, labs receive an email to download their reports from the portal system. For major key accounts, LGC produce a data file which can be fed directly into the company's own KPI system. This provides a simple trend which will show the lab as either conforming to the quality standards or not, and highlighting possible analytical problems. Audits and support can then be targeted where it is needed. What is considered acceptable in terms of results depends on the sample and analyte in question. Simple quality measures such as pH and CO2 may have generous ranges. In contrast, contaminants may have very tight limits and a permitted maximum level in the nanogram milliliter range. Every quarter, the participating lab's performance can be monitored globally from a single desk and corrective action put into place.